Hi guys, today I'm going to start preparing an academic poster for the Cambridge Undergraduate Conference in German Studies. This is something I will be doing over the next few days, so um, stick with me and I'll show you the entire process of making this poster. <laughs> So the topic that I chose for this poster is actually a chapter of my dissertation and uh, I applied uh, because I saw that the title, the, the general topic of this year's conference is uh, invention and innovation and I thought I could bring energy policy around to the idea of innovation because innovation is really important in uh, actually uh, putting this transition into practice. I've already done a draft so let me show you. So. This is how it looks. It's not brilliant at the moment, but it's, it's just the first draft. So I've got a, a plan for it. Um, so let me zoom in. So this will be printed on A0 and I decided to use Photoshop to do this. Here's my title, Milestones of Germany's Energy Policy in Recent Decades. My name and University of Cambridge. Then I've got a section for the abstract, one for the methods, the history, uh, and a given the, that's the, um, the energy transformation, transition that uh, is happening in Germany and then how it's happening uh, with two, two sections, then debates about it, whether it's um, useful or not or whether it should be done differently or not and then there will be like two options for the future with and without it and considering the, the consequences of it probably and then the bibliography and that's it. So with these um, academic posters, uh, they're quite different from what I'm used to and what I've been used to up to now, um, in the sense that uh, they've got to contain uh, a lot more text than I would intuitively think to add. You know, you'd think that a poster should uh, support uh, your main points and, and the, the most information will be uh, given orally in a presentation. But I guess that this poster will actually remain uh, part of the documentation of the conference and people going back to it can actually uh, see all the points you made if you add a lot of text. Um, of course, I will um, support this text with um, graphs and images as well to make it more interesting and more engaging. So creating all of these boxes was a bit of a pain and I think Photoshop is not ideal for this. Illustrator might have been better because it doesn't help me get exact measurements so much. In any case, I'll stick with Photoshop because this is um, what I know how to use and I've already done this in here. So I basically started by creating the big box, the big frame, and I added uh, an overlay over it and uh, tried to approximate the, the colors of the German flag and it looks a bit like it, so um, I'm content with that. And then um, I created these green boxes to organize my text and uh, images. And then I added this long horizontal rectangle underneath the title and uh, name and university, because I just think it looks cool if the poster has a darker header. What my OCD brain is a bit worrying about is the fact that it's a lot of black up here and yellow down here and visual arts rules say that you should have darker colors uh, at the bottom to balance it and prevent it from feeling like the top is going to fall over. I can't flip the German flag because you don't do that, you don't flip flags whenever you want to. Actually I might make these boxes down here, it looks a bit better to me but I'm not sure I'll stick with this. Hi guys, so I thought I had to send this poster in by Monday for the Saturday conference, but apparently I've just found out that the deadline is Friday, which is today, and uh, I've got about one and a half hours more of the day to send the poster. And uh, let me show you what stage I'm in. So this is how the poster looks like right now. I've added my abstract, I'm working on my uh, methods and materials now and I've written a bit of the history 
a bit about the energy vendor added some uh, pictures and graphs as you can see and there's a lot to write here for the uh, government policy and private sector part and the debate and also the fact that it's a European and international effort um, now you don't have to think that um, um, this is information that I'm only now looking for I've got my paper right here which uh, is just a draft of the paper but um, still I've got all the information that I need I've just got to uh, include it in my poster and uh, yeah as you can see I've got the sources here as well now this will take a while I might stay uh, up later than um, midnight to finish it but I do want to send it today now because in a previous email they said the deadline was Monday I asked them whether Friday is like the, the last day I can send it on or whether I can uh, send it at the end of the weekend and uh, yeah they said I, I could ultimately send it by Sunday evening but if possible I'll try to finish it today yeah I have to get to work to finish it so uh, let's see how that goes now one hour and ten minutes on the clock until midnight So I've got about 10 more minutes until midnight and I've added most of the main bodies of text that I wanted to add. Especially here in these two. These are all paragraphs taken from my uh, paper and I will definitely have to trim them down and uh, make them into bullet points and also uh, maybe add some uh, uh, images or some graphs. I'll see what I can find. Um, I haven't yet added anything here. I'll have to possibly rethink this section. I, I might add a section here about the importance of Germany's reliance on external energy sources and on import, I mean, and how the energy vendor could change that. So yeah, this is the main gist of it. I think it will uh, come out nicely in the end. But I don't want to rush it and I don't think I'll uh, send it um, right now. Um, I'll spend some more time uh, working on it and improving it uh, tonight and if I can't uh, finish it I'll leave it for tomorrow morning and then I'll send it by uh, tomorrow uh, at midday. I think uh, by the time I go to brunch it uh, might even be ready and I think that's the best option for me right now, to be honest, because I also don't want to cut back on sleep. I don't want to be sleep deprived again. So I've been making some efforts to uh, go to sleep at the right time um, for the past uh, week or so already. And I'm feeling a lot better than I did before. I've also worked much more efficiently than before. So I think this um, rhythm that I've developed uh, is a good one and I don't want to lose it. So yeah, I'll work some more on this and I'll catch up with you at a later stage of the poster and show you the improvements I've made. Hi guys, so last night when I went to sleep, I left three more points to do to finish my poster. One is find a quote and add it. The other one is transform these um, big chunks of text in bullet points. And then uh, switch two of the uh, boxes uh, between each other uh, and uh, make it look a little better and uh, be a bit more coherent and consistent with how important those uh, paragraph actually are in my argument 
and um, I'll show you. As you can see, last night I was able to finish this, all this part, and this as well. I added one more graph because it's, uh, I think it's uh, really important about um, greenhouse gas emissions. Um, these are about renewable energy sources and uh, they complement each other nicely. Then these are the paragraphs that I really need to work on and um, uh, distill them and uh, put some bullet points in there so that it is all a little more readable. And then I switched these two and put the European and international part here and I will um, probably make these bigger. That was my initial intention. Okay, I think I will add some more information here. Okay, so now quote here, add some more ideas here, bullet points here, and I'm done. Okay, let's do this. Okay guys, so I think I'm finally done half a day late, but it's done, I can send it now and it's gonna be alright. They're gonna print it, I hope, on A0. And let me show you, I've moved one of the uh, graphs down here and added some bullet points and some um, emphasis with bold here and there. And um, I really hope it's not too much text, but um, I will say all this quite quickly and focus on expa explaining the graphs and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, this is the situation on the international level and then the criticism that the NRG Vende received. So now I can finally go to brunch, when I come back I'll do my one hour jazz guitar routine and then start working on my literature essay, which um, is on post-traumatic theatre and it's due by next week. And uh, I also hope to uh, get a good grasp on the topic so that I can leave tomorrow for the dissertation. I'm really trying to fit in some time to work on the dissertation because um, otherwise I'm not going to finish it by the end of this term. And on Tuesday my girlfriend is coming to visit me and I'm really happy about that. In the meantime, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification button to be notified when I post new videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!